It's the morning of Brian's Day in a Wheelchair Challenge. I'm challenging my boyfriend to spend the entire day in a wheelchair. This is us normally. While I use a wheelchair, Brian is actually able-bodied. I thought I would be more excited about this, but I feel kind of bad. And here's Brian's chariot for the day. The first thing he has to do is put air in the tires with the air compressor because there's like none in there. Good morning, babe. Are you nervous? A little. I'm gonna wake up. And we'll get you in your chair. It's pretty much how I felt in rehab when they were like, here's your wheelchair, hop on it. I was like, no, not doing it, going back to bed. <laughs> Alright, so my legs can be stability on the ground. Oh that was a good one. Now you have to I lift your legs in. Legs oh. So you didn't lift your legs in at all. Yeah, that's right. Pick those babies up. It's gonna be hard for me not to use my legs because I can't. Yeah. But I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, obviously Brian is not a paraplegic. If you're not a paraplegic, it's impossible not to use your legs somewhat. So just be aware of that. The main challenge is not standing up for the entire day and just navigating life as a wheelchair user. And also just not having like the wonderful ability to just hop out of bed. So is that different? Like you can't just hop out of bed, there's a whole process. Yeah, it's a lot different. Yeah. I had to wait for you to bring my chair. I didn't know what I would do if, I, if you didn't bring it. <laughs> All right, so one thing immediately different is I can't use this mirror, I'm too short. Stand up. I'm sure that's how everyone feels though, when they don't have a choice of the matter. You're airing your tires, it's a big deal. Whenever I put air in my tires, I'm like, whoa. Oh my God, I feel like I got legs. I actually think it's good for me to get some perspective for my relationship, but also just to give you guys some perspective towards wheelchair users, their struggles, everyday life. I've already, found it more difficult to get out of bed, more difficult to um, you know, wash my face, brush my teeth in the morning. And my view is different. Uh, now I'm gonna try to make coffee. We'll see how that goes. All right. The exact scientific measurements of the coffee beans. Dash of chicory, chicory. That's a lot. Is it dandelion or a little bash of dandelion? I use like a couple of them. Are you sure this is dandelion? Yeah. No. A while ago, I put the bacon bits in here. Yeah, it's dandelion. You're sure? Yeah. All right, little dandelion root, because we're weird. <laughs> I have to back up in order to get in my cabinets. Honestly, normally I'd be done already. <laughs> Hopefully it's going in I there. usually bring the, the thing down. And then I can see, yeah. But you're a woman. Women do things differently. <laughs> like right? Okay. <laughs> I'm not. You want rich or classic? Classic. I'm gonna go back to bed for the day. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it's a science. So we're gonna drink some coffee and get ready for the day. And then we're gonna head out and do some shopping. I find that it's easier to turn when you don't know how to turn with these by holding on to stuff. You don't know how to turn? You just like... I know, how to, <laughs> I know how to turn, babe. I'm telling you, it's easier to zip around the house if I grab onto stuff and propel myself. Yeah, yeah. One thing. I know you're the champion, but... You're like a tractor trailer. All right, deliver my coffee. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Normally, I'll just grab it and bring it, but I don't think that's going to work. Not so, today. Nicolette actually likes her coffee a little darker. All you guys who want to take her to coffee, make sure you remember that. There Thanks, babe. <laughs> but just know I'll be there as well. Mm -hmm. And I am a little, I feel nervous. I'm not a very nervous person. I used to be a public speaker, um, but I feel nervous going in public. I can tell you're nervous today. 
as someone who's in a wheelchair because I have seen that it's different for other people. And I just think that, you know, people are gonna treat me different and it's sad, you know, that's how it is. I don't really notice getting stared at anymore. I always kind of just like translate it into like pretending I'm famous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Partly I'm doing this to uh, make a video for the public so you guys can see what it's like for someone to spend one day in a wheelchair who's never been in a wheelchair. It's like, but I also want to do this for my girlfriend because she lives in a chair every single day. And it's incredible, you know, what she does and the fact that she's crystal mining. Um, all of that stuff is pretty incredible and I want to shed some light on the challenges people in wheelchairs face every day. You can't put your pants on like that, you'll fall over. You have to be more on the couch. So I already got dressed for today and I was Brian Sloath. Uh, Nicolette wire wrapped ornaments. I think they came out cute. We're selling these on our new Etsy shop, which is linked in our banner if you wanted to check it out. We'll transfer over. I might have. It's the idea that you can't get up and jump off the couch, you have to get into a wheelchair first. That's like the main thing we're trying to. Yeah, you're doing better. You lifted your leg right in there. All right, babe, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, what Back do we up. Do? Back up. <laughs> These are the doors where you have to open like you're the queen of Egypt. Both of them. Oh, yeah. See, it's a little difficult. <laughs> oh, thanks. Fall out when I wheelie. <laughs> Do a little lift up. Oh, you almost fell. <laughs> it's not easy to go on the grass. If you have upper body strength, I could see doing it for short periods of time, not long term. I don't think I'll be able to get back up either. It is freezing in the winter. Yeah, the, the hand rims. Five miles per hour. Keep that in mind. Stopped at Duncan. And, and people in wheelchairs need to eat. Yep, people in wheelchairs eat, just mm -hmm. so you guys know. <laughs> they, you know, eat, use the bathroom, mm -hmm. have sex, all that. Right, Big babe? misconception. <laughs> so we're gonna go in public for the first time, my first day in a wheelchair. We're going out in public, we're gonna hit up the mall and uh, try to capture the way that people unknowingly stare and gape at people in wheelchairs. Because the difference is it's it's something different from their normal life. That's why I never fault anyone for staring because like they're just curious. Like you can't get upset about curiosity. It's true. That's why when people stare at me, I'm just like, oh, like, I don't want they're anyone so to think like, you know, they need to like look away real quick and make oh, I can't look at that. Like, no, What did the mom look. say one time? Well, there was like a little girl who was staring. And she's like, mommy, why isn't this girl standing? And she's like, this. This is how she gets around, like that's her wheelchair. She was hurt and you know, this is how she moves and that's fine. And like she explained it so beautifully to her daughter and I really appreciate that because yeah. I've had mom say like, don't look at that or. Stay like, away from it yeah. or something like that, you know? <laughs> like it was contagious or something. So I think it's really important to educate your children and like if they are staring at someone with a disability, like don't gonna like be turn them away. Like we don't care about children staring at us. So I'm getting a new perspective on life. Cheers, baby. 
Not as easy as hopping out of the car and going, is it? Nope, I'd be in the mall and <laughs> having a Cinnabon right now. <laughs> Alright, second wheel. You guys don't want me falling, you'd probably love to see me fall, wouldn't you? I might break this. You won't break it. <laughs> I'm very fast paced person. This is the most Good relaxed job. I've been in years, but it's also hard. I don't, I'm anxious. I don't get anxious. I think Brian's really nervous <laughs> about going in public in a wheelchair. Yeah, you can't carry a drink, it's really hard. Merry Christmas. Brian was trying to like get out of Target. He was like, Are you sure we need to go to Target? Can we like, go home? <laughs> can we just like make it? No, we're going to Target. We're go I can see how, you know, if you are in a wheelchair, you can't be lazy because that was my initial thing. Like, let's just go home and I'll spend the day on the couch. <laughs> the day where I have to use a wheelchair all day. Yeah, but it's a little extra work you have to do. Like where you have to take these extra steps daily in order to be able to accomplish those tasks that everyone does. So it's, uh, a little frustrating, honestly. About hey, time. I'm a little slower than you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nicolette wanted me to ask someone for help, which I feel a little embarrassed to do so, which I've never liked this. So it shows right there that it can change your personality and make you a little nervous. But we gotta get something top shelf. Neither of us can reach. So I'm gonna find something long and make it happen. A lot of the times it's like end aisle. Weird things at the end of the aisle. I found pillows, I think it'll work. Alright, I'm gonna try to get it. <laughs> I know, I like stare at something in the aisle for a little too long, and somebody will come over and be like, Do you need something? What can I get for you? <laughs> but no one wants to help Brian. Yeah. So. Things about wheelchair life. Look at your coat. You have to shove it in here. Oh, yeah. Alright, right. I think those people just laughed at us. What do you think? Are you pretty tuckered out from all the transferring? No, I think it's more mentally like, you know, it, it gives me a lot of perspective. And <laughs> got home and I'm like oh I need a drink and I grab the ice like I normally would mm -hmm. then I look at my hands <laughs> this is a struggle your hands get quite dirty welcome to the wheel life the wheel life all right so we had a few requests to have Brian vacuum I'll show you how I vacuum <laughs> You are. Without balance, this is probably really hard. You notice Brian has two hands, like just openly 
I can't pack in like that. I have to constantly be holding on to something. Yeah, or I'll fall out. I'm super hungry. Honestly, it was a little hard work today to get in and out. You always work hard, baby. It's a little workout just to live. So, I'm gonna cut up some veggies for tacos. And I have to do it a little bit different because I don't think I can really reach the counters. This is actually how Nicolette goes about it as well. Copycat. I'm a copycat. It is, uh, it's a hassle to do this every time you want to go somewhere and transition. Okay, babe, so what was the hardest part of your challenge? I guess I would say that the hardest part of being in a wheelchair for just a day and for everyone who's in a wheelchair is the extra steps you have to take every single day doing every single task uh, that you wouldn't have to take if you weren't in a wheelchair. Nicolette and I both want to thank you for watching our video and watching my Day in the Wheelchair Challenge. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment. Tell us what you thought of our day or our favorite part or what you think would be the hardest thing about being in a wheelchair. And if you've earned your subscription, make sure you subscribe and check out some of our other adventures.